What's going on everybody? This is Steve with the Mr. Big Kid channel. I got something pretty exciting today and that's going to be a tactical wall. So this right here is an adhesive sound panel that I put up. I'm going to rip all those down. The back side is adhesive. So it's going to leave kind of some ugliness on the wall. Those right down there aren't mounted, but that's the hold up displays slat wall panel. Those are basically modular panels that we can put all sorts of cool stuff on it. Guns, rifles, handguns, accessories and stuff like that. So we need to mount those slat wall panels to the wall. The problem is we have brick as a backer. So I went to Home Depot and got some hardware. Now I do want to say Hold Up Displays did send me a bunch of hardware to mount, but since I'm going to be doing brick and this is not technically my house, I am renting it. So I want to do as little amount of damage as possible. So what I'm going to do to mount to the brick is I have a couple sections of two by four. I'm going to mount those as if they were studs. Instead of drilling into the brick, I'm actually going to be drilling right into the mortar. It's going to make it a lot easier. I can repair it completely 100% when we end up moving out and getting a different house. But I'm going to be here for quite a while, so let's put the hold-up displays up on the wall. Here's the before. Now let's work for the after. Step one, we're going to remove the patches and the sound foam board, whatever you want to call that, and then we'll start doing some measurements. So if you guys are looking for some sound foam panels shaped like this, you can cut those little wafers into whatever size you want and there's adhesive on the back. They just stick right to the wall. I'll put the link in the description where you guys can find these guys as well. They work pretty well. So I'm gonna use these four foot sections of two by fours and I'm gonna essentially create my own studs. Like I said, since I'm actually drilling into brick, um, or into the brick mortar, I should say. What I want to do is I want to do one and simulate where a stud would normally be. That's going to be basically three pieces of wood per section of rail. And then I'll show you how it works once we get this wood up, once we get these studs up. So I think what I want to do is instead of a couple tall walls, I want more of a thinner wall so I can kind of use this little shelf space that I have below. And then on top of that, I'll be able to put some decorations and stuff like that, other stands. That should be good. Then I'm going to put another layer of that sound insulation foam above the slat wall, above the hold up display tactical wall. And then I think that should be good. I think that was probably the biggest pain in the butt part. Um, obviously you have to make your own studs. I ended up drilling into the mortar. I had to go back to Home Depot and get some anchors. The uh, screws that I bought were supposed to be concrete slash brick screws, but they were just pulling the mortar out. Then I tried to screw straight into the brick and then it was also just like pulling the texture of the brick out too, just boring it out. So got some anchors, anchored these bad boys in. So I got five four foot studs and that should be enough for what I want to start with and if I decide I want to add more panels and stuff I can always add some more length to those two. So let's go ahead and start to put these panels together real quick let me show you how they go. So here's what the panel looks like. It's really nice and relatively thick piece of metal there's no flex to it at all very sturdy. So they have little channels so this is the top side right here and you can see this channel cut out right over here. On the bottom side, you can see there's a little piece of metal. It's kind of like a blade. That actually goes inside the channel of the previous piece. Most important thing, I'm gonna make sure the first slat that I put in is gonna be nice and straight. Now, here's the thing. You might notice that I'm not using a level for anything. That's, that's on purpose. And the reason being is because I'm installing this on a brick wall. Now, the bricks all have natural lines going across. Same with the actual curvature of the ceiling. So what I want to do is make sure the slats line up to the brick lines, which might not be completely horizontal or completely level. If the slats are perfectly level and the bricks are not, it's going to look even worse than um, if I was to just line it up with the lines of the bricks. So that's what I do. No levels eyeballing it to the lines of the bricks. Since these are modular, they understand that not every situation is the same. So what you have to do is you actually have to drill holes inside these slats right here, right inside the channel. And then you're going to take a screw and then zip it to your stud or 
my faux wall that I'm building. So the first one's gonna be the most time consuming because I wanna make sure it's level. I wanna make sure the hole is drilled properly. And then once the first one is up, they should go pretty quickly from there because they're just gonna line up and clip into the channel of the previous piece. And then I can just drill a hole and then screw it in right from there. So, and that's it. Let's get started. Let's put up a wall. All right, so I have the first slide in. Now's my time to make sure I like the way things are lined up. And then I'm gonna just stack it up to see where it's actually gonna climb to and make sure it covers all the wood at the same time. If I like the way things are going, I'm gonna go ahead and zip the second screw into each one of these and then start building out the wall. So, so far so good. Well, the hard part is done and I actually have some more slats, but for now, this is a good starting place. So we have essentially a four foot section tall and a four foot section tall right here. That was the fun part because we get to put the mounts on it and then let's see what we got for this thing. These right here, let's just call these rifle hooks. They clip right into the slat wall. These are pretty cool. These are magazine holders. So you can adjust, you can kind of fit this bar right here, whatever you want to put in here, depending on the magazine or whatever accessory you want to hold, you could change where this bar sits to hold or accommodate different stuff. Again, it just clips right onto the slat wall, just like that. So these can be an armor holder. So they kind of act like a coat hanger. You clip them into the slot wall. You can put the straps right through these hooks. These right here are the pistol holders. Now they can have different uses, tool holders, whatever, suppressor holders. I'm gonna use them, what I, I'm gonna call them what I'm using for. This is what I use to hold the pistols and even my YouTube play button or my YouTube plaque as well. You have a helmet holder right here. Again, this is the part right here that clips onto the slat wall and you can place a helmet or something like that right up here. Last, but certainly not least, because this is probably the biggest item right here. These right here, these are gonna be your vertical rifle racks. So this is the bottom part and this is the part that takes most of the weight. So you have these pretty nice looking brackets it says made in the USA. And then with a bunch of these different accessories, you have these clips. So when you find that perfect place where you wanna put your firearms, wherever you wanna mount, you take these clips and you slap it over the bottom part right here. So this part goes inside the slat right here. And then this part clips right over the front. So when you find that location, you're clipping that right into the slat so it doesn't move as easy. All pretty straightforward. Let's actually build the wall. So I'll be honest with you guys, I've already played with this wall. And now one thing I did was I surrounded the entire wall in that sound foam. You can kind of see the upper part, the sides, and then the lower part right here. So I get to have the wall, but still have some decent sound dampening material on the wall, which is critical. I'm gonna go ahead and set up the wall. This will be another time lapse for you guys, but this is probably the last one. Let's set this thing up. For sakes of it, here's the before, and that is the new background. 
So overall, the hold-up display's wall is actually pretty dang cool. So what I mean by that is the construction quality is excellent. If you mount it properly, you don't get any kind of flex, nothing like that. As you can tell, right on top of the wall right there, I have my Barrett M82A1. That's a 50 BMG rifle, and that thing is heavy. I have a, my AK, I have a couple of big handguns, and a whole rack full of five PCCs on there, and one AR-15. Suppressors, all that stuff, all mounted to this wall. So hold up displays is very sturdy, really good paint quality on it as well. And the pricing isn't actually that bad on there. So, I mean, go ahead and check out the link below. It'll take you directly to the hold up website if you guys wanna check them out for yourselves. Uh, I'm not earning any money for those or anything like that. It's just the link to the website. So check it out, check out the pricing. It's pretty awesome. I'm really excited to start filming some videos with this as the new background different angles, all that stuff, but there's just limitless possibilities if you have the room for those possibilities. Now, before I sign off on this video, I do wanna talk about the concept of use for one of these guys. So what I believe in, and personally, these guns are not gonna live on this wall. This is only at, this is only to be used as like a studio backdrop when I'm filming, um, when I'm trying to show stuff off, stuff like that. Otherwise, if I'm not around, all these guns are locked up in their safes. Thank you all so much. Thank you, Hold Up Displays. Love this product. I, I really like this a lot. It's gonna change a lot of things. Thank you all so much. I'll see you guys later. <laughs>